What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and today I will be teaching you how to make a scrolling background. Now there are many ways that you can create a scrolling background. I'm going to teach you one of those ways. If you're a beginner and have no idea how to create a scrolling background, this tutorial might give you something to build off of. So let's begin. What we have here is an empty scene and three objects, uh, sorry, three textures that I will be using for our scrolling background. Ignore this script over here. It's just for reference purpose. Now before using any of these textures with uh, this technique, you need to uh, take care of a few things. First of all, you have to make sure that the texture type is texture and not sprite because that can give you undesired results and also you have to make sure that wrap mode is set to repeat and not clamp okay so the first thing you need to do is create a quad and then drag your texture into that quad. Let me resize it. Okay, so you'll notice that a materials folder was created and there's also a material created over here. This is being used in the quad. Okay, it's, it's black. I, I think I need to change the shader. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is create a script. We can call this background scroll script. Alright, so first we are going to create a speed variable. Next, a variable called y, no, x. Okay, now first I'm going to show you how to make an automatically scrolling background and after that I'll show you how to control the scrolling based on uh, which keys you're pressing. Alright, so we need to set the value for X. For that we'll use mathf.repeat uh, time dot time into speed. Okay, let me explain what mathf dot repeat does. Okay, mathf.repeat loops the value uh, so that it's never larger than the length, the length being whatever number you specify over here, and never smaller than zero. So time.time .time is basically how much time has passed since the game started so it's uh, it's basically in seconds and so at the start of the game it's going to be zero and uh, basically using time dot time you can find out how long the game has been running and this will be in seconds so we're going to get that value and multiply it with speed so our speed will be set to for example 0 0.1 and whatever this value is it doesn't matter it can even be a hundred uh, the loop is only gonna run between 0 and 1 it's not gonna go more than that okay the next thing we need to do is set the texture offset
this takes two parameters one is the property name that's underscore main text this property is defined when the shader is written so I can't really explain a lot about it you just need to know that this is the property you need to access because we will control the offset of this property okay next is the offset itself that will be a new vector 2 0 on X no no X on X and 0 on Y okay now I'm going to attach this to the quad and before running the game I'll set the speed to 0 point uh, let's set it to 0 0.01 Am I forgetting anything? Okay, yeah. Let me explain what offset is. Now, this is a quad and it's got a material applied to it. The material has, uh, it has a texture. So this texture, this image is, uh, when you set the offset to say 0 0.1, you can see the start of the texture is somewhere else like if you set it to zero the starting is here set it to 0 0.1 and that shifts so now the space has come over here you set it to 0 0.2 it's going to go further 0 0.5 further so this is actually what we are going to use to create the scrolling effect okay so let's run the game and see what happens okay that value is very small 0 0.1 is fine so as you can see it is scrolling infinitely next we will add two more uh, textures and create a sort of parallax scrolling effect now parallax scrolling is well it's it's uh, basically a technique where the background which is the uh, the foremost object the one which is at the back uh, that background is moving at a very slow speed compared to the objects that are in front so your background is moving at it at a much slower speed as compared to your foreground this if if done properly if you set the timing of uh, uh, both these backgrounds properly you can actually give a more realistic effect so it's it gives more uh, depth to the to the scrolling effect let's make two copies of this quad and add our other two textures I'm going to set the Z values to 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 this is because we want uh, them to be behind each other like okay it's the difference is not so much that you can see the gap but uh, yeah basically you've got the black one in front and you've got the gray one behind the black one and then you've got the even lighter gray in the last and all of these objects they have this script attached so all we need to do is change the values so we've got this 
moving at okay you know what let me change these names call it front and mid and back okay so front is moving at a speed of 0 0.1 so we can set mids speed to 0 0.05 and then back speed to 0 0.03 Let's play the game and see what effect this has. So as you can see, each of these layers is moving at a different speed. The layer which is uh, at last, it's moving at a very slow speed compared to the other two layers. And the layer in the front is moving at the fastest speed. okay so this is how you make it scroll automatically now there are cases where you might want to actually control the scrolling like maybe if you're going to the left you want the scroll to go in a different direction or if you're and if you're going to the right then you might want the scroll to go in a different direction and of course if you've stopped you don't want it to be scrolling so let's work on a logic to take care of that I'm going to comment this line and set X to time dot time so at the start of the game I, I might as well set it to zero it really doesn't matter because at the start of the game time dot time is gonna be zero Next, I'm going to create a float variable, call it h, and this is going to get uh, the value along, well, uh, basically it's going to tell us whether uh, the right key is being pressed or the left key is being pressed. So the value will either be negative 1 or positive one and if you're not pressing any key it's going to be zero okay what do we do next oh yes we also need to create a public float and call this increment okay what comes next yeah if h is greater than zero so that means if the right key is being pressed or I guess it will be D so if the right key is being pressed then we want to increment X by whatever value we set and then if X is greater than 1.0 f then decrease it by 1.0 f I'll explain to you in some time why I'm doing this next we'll create an if statement to handle uh, the left input so basically if the left key is pressed so if uh, else if h is less than 0 then x minus or plus minus yeah x minus equals increment so this means x is equal to x minus increment and then we'll add a validation here as well this should be x less than negative 1.0 f and if it is less than that value then we should add 1.0 f to x okay I think we are done alright what was I supposed to explain to you yes now the reason why I had to add this validation here and over here 
is because we are incrementing x so it can keep increasing it doesn't have a limit it's gonna keep it's gonna keep keep on increasing and uh, this whatever value is uh, is inside x that value is gonna come here and if the value becomes I don't know what the limit of uh, the offset is but at some point we are going to cross that limit and that might create issues so just to avoid that I added a validation over here so the the moment it crosses one in this case the moment it crosses 1.0 f it's going to subtract so that means if it becomes 1.1 f it's going to subtract 1 f from that value and so you'll go back to 0.1 f and the scroll just repeats itself the scroll sorry the background just repeats itself okay so now before we run the game we need to set the increment values over here because now speed is not being used anymore we'll be using increment I have to set this this is in the front so this should be 0 0.5 this should be 0 0.003 wait what did I set for front okay here yeah. and back should be 0 0.001 let's play the game and see what happens okay so currently I'm not holding any key now I'm going to press the right key and now I'm going to press the left key as you can see it's working just fine now okay you can apply the same logic and achieve an up down scroll effect as well all you need to do is change this to vertical and instead of applying x value here apply it over here along the y-axis I'm not gonna show it to you in this case because these textures are meant for side scrolling and if I scroll them up down it's gonna look weird so yeah this is one of the ways that you can achieve a side scrolling effect this is not the only method there are many many ways that you can used to achieve a side scrolling effect uh, different ways work for different situations it's not necessary that just because one technique works in one case it's going to be the best technique for another case as well you have to see what works best for you but yeah that's how you create a scrolling background I hope this tutorial was helpful. Do check out these other videos as well. The video on the top left teaches you about Unity's navigation system. The video on the top right teaches you about the particle system. And the video on the bottom left teaches you a game mechanic called run, jump and spin. I'm also accepting donations. So if you would like to help me out, you can send your donations to my PayPal email address mentioned on the screen and in the description below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Fame is he even still the same? Claiming Lord's boys, but we never seen him main. I don't cover now on album when he get the chance to hang. Like, damn. One, three, four. Niggas acting like I never been through them doors. Moved uptown and I rocked a little red. Niggas asking if I'm raw, cause I'm out in Hempstead.